Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. Today, we're putting your stoic knowledge to the test with 10 famous quotes from the legendary philosopher Epictetus. How well do you know his teachings in Think You Know Epictetus? Take the ultimate stoic quiz challenge. Let's find out. Through this quiz, we are looking to enhance wellness of mind and spirit by investigating the teachings of one of humanity's great Stoic philosophers. Stoicism, which originated in ancient Greece, remains incredibly relevant today. It offers practical advice on living a balanced, resilient and fulfilling life. My credentials, purpose and journey. I'm Gerard and I'm passionate about guiding you, the viewer, through the power of holistic wellness, in this case, wellness of mind and spirit. After a decade of struggling with my health from ages 50 to 60, I found my way to health through adopting holistic practices. Now at age 72, I've enjoyed 12 years of being completely symptom free, thanks to 18 years of daily practice and research. Here on Holistic Wellness 24 seven, I share my journey to help you take radical responsibility for your wellness. My videos focus on the how to of expanding your lifespan and more importantly, your health span. Wellness of mind and spirit is an essential element in achieving this. I've transformed my life through holistic wellness practices, and I know you can too. So let's get started. Welcome to the ultimate Stoic quiz. Today, we're putting your Stoic knowledge to the test with these famous quotes from Epictetus. How well do you know his teachings? Let's find out. Question one. First say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do. Which of these best captures the meaning of this quote? A. Visualize success and act accordingly. B. Set your priorities and act on them. C. Focus on personal growth first. D. Let your desires guide your actions. The correct answer is B, set your priorities and act on them. Epictetus is emphasizing that we need to define our character and goals before taking action. Question two, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. What is this quote emphasizing? A, events shape our character. B, reaction is more important than events. C. Focus on controlling external events. D. Inner peace comes from ignoring the outside world. The correct answer is B. Reaction is more important than events. This highlights the stoic belief that we cannot control what happens, but we can control how we respond. Question 3. We suffer more in imagination than in reality. What is this quote referring to? A. Daydreaming causes unnecessary suffering. B. Fear and worry about the future can harm us. C. Reality is always harsher than we imagine. D. The mind is incapable of understanding reality. The correct answer is B. Fear and worry about the future can harm us. Epictetus is pointing out that much of our suffering is due to worrying about things that haven't even happened. Question four. He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. What is this teaching about? A. The importance of self-deprecation. B. Humility and self-awareness. C. Life should be filled with humor. D. Stoics should mock themselves The correct answer is B, humility and self-awareness. Epictetus is encouraging us to not take ourselves too seriously. Question five, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Which stoic idea is reflected in this quote? A, the rich are truly free. B, minimalism is the key to happiness. C. Freedom comes from reducing desires. D. Great possessions bring great responsibility. 
The correct answer is C. Freedom comes from reducing desires. This quote reflects the Stoic idea that true wealth comes from needing less, not having more. Question 6. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. What principle is being emphasized here? A. Freedom comes from political autonomy. B. Freedom is achieved through material success. C. True freedom lies in controlling the mind. D. Control what you can, ignore what you cannot. The correct answer is D. Control what you can, ignore what you cannot. Epictetus teaches that freedom is attained by focusing on what we can influence and letting go of the rest. Question 7. No man is free who is not master of himself. What is the message here? A. Control others to achieve freedom. B. Freedom requires self-discipline. C. External forces dictate freedom. D. Being free means following your impulses. The correct answer is B. Freedom requires self-discipline. This quote reinforces the Stoic belief that real freedom comes from controlling yourself, not external circumstances. Question 8. Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. What does this quote suggest? A. External success brings happiness. B. Happiness comes from within. C. Focus on helping others to be happy. D. You can find good only through possessions. The correct answer is B. Happiness comes from within. Stoicism teaches that true happiness is found in our internal state, not in external achievements. Question 9. Don't explain your philosophy, embody it. What is this quote encouraging? A. Talk about philosophy often. B. Live your philosophy rather than preach it. C. Stoicism should be debated. D. Explain your ideas in detail. The correct answer is B. Live your philosophy rather than preach it. Epictetus wants us to demonstrate our beliefs through our actions, not just our words. Question 10. First learn the meaning of what you say and then speak. What principle is being promoted here? A. Speak often to express your ideas. B. Avoid talking altogether. C. Understand deeply before speaking. D. Learn rhetoric before speaking. The correct answer is C. Understand deeply before speaking. Epictetus advises us to think and reflect before we speak, ensuring our words align with truth and reason. Closing section, how did you do? Did you guess most of the quotes correctly? Or were a few more challenging than expected? Let me know your score in the comments below. These timeless teachings from Epictetus remind us to focus on what we can control, act with virtue, and find inner peace despite life's challenges. If you enjoyed the quiz, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Stoic content. See you in the next video.